for the first time ever, we have a film given to us from Disney Studios that isn't going to become some sort of ride, isn't going to be built into an attraction that's going to be premiered or held at one of their many theme parks around the world. We have a film based on an already existing ride. And this just goes to show you that sometimes when there's nothing there, you can put something there. Like, how is it that this attraction has been around for so long? I looked it up. The attraction started in 1955. Originally, it was only at the Disneyland location in California. The Magic Kingdom location for this ride didn't open up until 1971. And then when the the Disneyland in Tokyo opened up in 83, they got a version of the ride. And then another version of the ride was put in the Hong Kong Disneyland, although that one's called Jungle River Cruise, and that was in 2005. So this is a long-running attraction that Disney has, that hasn't been given a film yet. Like, there's no adaptation to this anywhere. And this is the first one, this 2021 film with Dwayne Johnson and um, uh, blah, 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 Emily Blunt. I don't know why I lost her name for a second, but and Emily Blunt. So why did it take so long for them to make this film happen? I don't know. Maybe it was the the idea of the story. Maybe they didn't have a solid story that came up. Or maybe, from what I learned about a lot of the stuff I read, that there was a lot of, you know, culturally inappropriate things, although historically accurate, could be things that kind of drive people away from wanting to say, yeah, let's put this on the screen. But then again, you're talking about something that came out that was a ride in the 50s. I mean, maybe there just wasn't a budget there, or maybe there wasn't a need to have such a a huge and fantastic ride like that turn into a film. And I guess the first time they ever got to see it was when, you know, the original story and screenplay was given to them a couple of years ago, where, from what I see about, like, the planning for this, was that they... This has been in the works for almost 15, 16, 17 years, I think. What's, What's the math on that? It goes back to, I think, 2004, so 21 minus 4, yeah, 17 years. So for 17 years, this was meant to kind of happen. And that's how long they've been working on trying to make this a reality. So even that, even if you take the idea of 2004, that's still 50 years that they were sitting on this story that was an attraction that could have easily gotten them more money if they just made the movie about it beforehand and they just never did so so to me this is a first and i'm a big fan of going to the disney parks i've been to them at least once a year since i turned like 30 years old because that was the first time i went my wife surprised me for my 30th birthday woke me up in the middle of the night dragged me to an airport and took me to disney world for the first time ever and i say disney world because we went to the florida location not the california location And at least every year since then, we've gone for Halloween, we've gone for our anniversary, we've gone for the 4th of July. We've gone a lot of times um, since I've been in my 30s. And I love it every time I go there. I always experience something new, and there's a lot of things that I experience every time because I love going there for it. You know, like I'm constantly watching you know, new Disney films and just seeing what they're able to do with these new films and these new worlds they're building up. There are things in the the Disney parks that I've missed that I never got to see because I never went prior to, you know, five years ago. They had shut down, you know, Hollywood Studios and they put up Star Wars Land and they put up Toy Story Land. Like, I, I haven't been back since Star Wars Lands has opened because when I went during the pandemic... There were so many restrictions on tickets that I just couldn't see that. And that's another reason why I would go back there, because now that's an attraction that I can actually enjoy when I get there, because it's still something I haven't experienced yet. So when they get things like this, when they put things like this out there, like Toy Story is four movies deep, and I think a couple of TV shows and a couple of, like, like, holiday specials. So it has people that love those characters, and they just made that a couple of years ago. So a lot of the time, they prove concept in theaters and with sales 
prior to them putting it into these parks almost. Now, granted, there's still a lot of stuff that doesn't have anything. You know, I they in in Magic Kingdom there's this bird attraction. It's like this hall you sit in where they have this like talking bird light show where all the birds are just animatronics and it's very old school. But I've seen nothing like that anywhere except the park. So I know they have attractions that have never been given the light of day outside of just being some form of a Disney attraction. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I've been on the Jungle Cruise thing because I don't think it's something that I appreciate because I'm not big on like roller coasters or anything like that. I don't know if it's like a virtual ride or if it's like a full on water ride with like one of those big um, uh when the end of it is like a big slide that sends you down. Uh, I, I don't know, but I didn't even know that it was an attraction. I saw the film and I was like, I can't like Disney's going to make this as an attraction. Cause that's what they do. They just, they, they pump out movies and then they put the, they put these movies as rides and then they throw them into one of their parks. And I was wrong. I was completely and utterly wrong. This has been around longer than, that I've been alive for and I've never seen it and I've never even thought about going on it. So it's funny to me that that's a real thing. And it just goes to show you that they're sitting on all these other ideas that could easily be films that they push out that are in some way, shape or form. I don't want to say original, but original to the idea of having an adaptation like this. Now I am glad they waited until this year because the special effects are definitely up there where it does a film like this justice. Now, granted, the film kind of has the same feeling of like a Pirates of the Caribbean. It's almost like a very similar story to, I want to say like Pirates of the Caribbean 4. Um, But if this came out at any other point in time, the special effects probably wouldn't be there for it. And then maybe we'd get like a remake at some point, which would be totally and utterly unnecessary. But we have it now, and it's great. It's enjoyable, start to finish. I appreciate it. I'm pretty certain it blew its budget out of the water. You know, it came out at some point in July. Uh, I watched it sometime in the middle of August, and I thought it was great. I think it's great as a standalone film. But I have read that they're trying to do a sequel, which I'm a little annoyed about. You know, I'm just, I'm a big believer in... If it doesn't need a sequel, you don't have to push one out just to make some kind of effort of making more money. You know, like some films deserve to be left as is. And sometimes sequels ruin the good first film. And I just feel like this doesn't need one. Especially thinking that this film started its development back in 2004. So how are you going to make a sequel to something that took almost over 15 years to make? It just feels like it's a, it's a waste of time to me, and you should be focusing the efforts on something more. I would love another Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, I know we we'll probably won't get one because there's a lot of issues with Johnny Depp and the shit he's going through right now, and I, I don't even believe he's Jack Sparrow anymore. So maybe we'll never get another Pirates of the Caribbean, but I'd rather the focus be on something else and just leave this as the film that's based on the attraction that you already have. You know, maybe pick up another attraction that you've been sitting on that could easily make, like, oh, wait, no, we do have a Space Mountain. I was just going to say maybe Space Mountain, but <clears throat> there's the um, the Race to Space Mountain film. I think there's like two or three of those. So there's got to be another attraction that you're sitting on that could easily become a film. And you should totally do that over making a sequel to The Jungle Cruise. But that's just me. I just... I don't think sequels are always necessary, and this is definitely one of those times where Jungle Cruise can pretty much be left alone in my eyes. 